Hello scientific people, how are you today? Today we will be discussing about the interaction of light with matter and here matter means we are going to consider solids and liquids, we will not be talking about the gases and then eventually we will extend our discussion to the refractive index. This video lecture is for uh, the students from grade 8 to 12, everybody can uh, actually gain the understanding about the interaction of light with matter and refractive index. So very basic but a very nice and understanding tutorial. So let us begin. So here we have the atoms which are joined together by strong interactions. You can call them as bonds or strong forces, cohesive, right, whatever. So mostly we, we would like to call them as bonds and bonds are spring-like structures. If we are talking about solids then the gap between these two would be small and if we are talking about liquids then let the gap be like that, be like this only. Now what is going to happen is I have shown uh, the atoms, atoms are connected like this also and they are also connected like this. So I have not shown the connections over here, not required in our discussion. So I am considering few atoms outside the matter over here and let us see what is going to happen when you actually throw light on it. So assume that we have a source of light over here and we are applying or we are impinging the light on it. So the light is going to get absorbed by these atoms and they will be again re-emitted. So these all atoms they do have some natural frequency. with which these molecules they prefer to vibrate. So they have their own natural frequency with which they can vibrate and if the light falling on it, if it has got same frequency then these atoms can actually hold the absorbed light for a longer period and then after it would be re-emitted back like this and then this atom is going to absorb the re-emitted light and that is going to hold the light for a very long time and again it is going to be re-emitted in the other direction and finally the light is going to come out of the other end, other end. So what is going to happen is when light actually goes in the series of atoms they are going to hold the light in it and finally the light is going to be emitted out. So what happens is suppose this is air and this is some medium say for example glass or water or whatever that is but these atoms are going to hold the light so the speed of light inside this particular medium is going to decrease. This is only the case when the frequency of this light f matches with the natural frequency of the atom but if the frequency of the light does not match with the natural frequency then the resonant absorption does not take place that means the light cannot be holded by these atoms for a longer period. So what is going to happen is this light will be absorbed by these atoms but for a very short time and again will be re-emitted fast. So on the basis of that we define a property called optical density. It is a measure of tendency of material to slow down the light as it travels through it. So if this material, if this material or the medium has got more optical density that means there are more chances of matching of frequencies of this light with the natural frequency. So there is more possibility of light to slow down inside this medium, right? Okay. If the optical density of this medium is less that means there is less chances, there are that means the uh, natural frequency of the atoms and the frequency of the light waves are not matching and that is why the atoms cannot hold the light for a longer time. So under that situation the speed of light inside the medium would be faster. So we can jot down some important points over here, more the optical density. then slow or less is the speed of light inside medium 
or we can also say that light holding capacity of atoms of medium is also large right ok and this means less or more sorry more is refractive index now what is actually refractive index we will be understanding it so let us brief up what we have uh, studied over here when light is being impinged upon the atoms of the matter the atoms are going to absorb the uh, light and they are then they are going to vibrate and then they are going to pass it on the energy to the neighboring atom and so on but if the um, frequency of this and natural frequency matches then the light holding capacity of the atoms increases so the light which is being impinged upon the atoms will be thrown out of the entire matter after a very long time so under that situation the speed of light inside will decrease right okay that's what we have written over here and optical density is a property of a particular medium if optical density is more then speed of light inside would be less more will be the absorbing capacity and hence more would be the refractive index so if you want to actually define the refractive index then refractive index refractive index is actually represented by greek letter mu or sometimes it is also represented by eta eta and this is mu mu right this is the speed of light we can write down mu or eta as the ratio of speed of lights so ratio of speed of light in medium 1 and speed of light in medium 2. So basically if you look at the units then in SI unit this will also be in meter per second this will also be in meter per second so anyhow getting cancelled. So it is actually uh, a dimensionless quantity or it does not have any unit so unitless quantity so refractive index actually does not have any kind of unit right and now what is medium 1 what is medium 2 we are going to discuss on the next sheet of paper ok so let us discuss about uh, the uh, medium 1 and medium 2 and types of refractive index refractive indexes are of two types absolute and relative so first of all let us understand what is medium 1 and medium 2 so here we have a surface above the surface uh, it is air and below the surface we have water so this surface actually divides both the medium and now we are having a source of light like this from which the light ray is coming and finally it is actually going inside the water so we know that this is refraction bending of light rays so this incident ray is there in air so this would be medium number one so medium one is basically the medium where incident ray is present and medium two is the medium where refractive sorry where refracted ray is present so this is medium two and refractive index absolute refractive index means the first medium or the medium in which the incident ray is present that is called the first medium and over here it is air. So if the first medium is air then the refractive index is always called absolute refractive index. Here we can see that the first medium where we have the source and uh, from which incident ray is coming and that is not the air that is water so this is another term related to that that is relative refractive index ok. So uh, here let us assume the speed of light in air we know that it is c 3 into 10 raised to 8 let us assume here as vw and this is another case in which I have considered first medium as air and the second medium as glass. So let us assume the speed of light in glass as 
VG. Very important point when we talk about refractive index. Refractive index is always of the second medium with respect to first medium. So here in this situation refractive index is of water with respect to air. Here is refractive index of glass with respect to air. Here is refractive index of glass with respect to water. But when we talk about the absolute refractive index, we have to understand that the first medium is always air. So we need not to speak, you can just say that refractive index of water and refractive index of glass. So let us write down the formula over here. So refractive index of water is equal to ratio of speed of light in both the medium. So speed of light in medium 1 that is C upon Vg. And for this particular case, we can write down refractive index of second medium that is glass. So refractive index, we can also write down this as um, mu 2 calling the second medium to be the water. But let us stick to this one only. So mu g that is equal to C upon Vg, sorry I made a mistake over here, it is Vw, speed of light in water, right? Okay. So mu w is equal to c upon vw and mu g is equal to c upon vg, right? Here we need not to specify that it is with respect to air because refractive index, if it is absolute, it means the first medium is air. But here the first medium is water and the second medium is actually the glass, right? So the, this is the first medium, this is the second medium speed of light Vw, speed of light is Vg. Here I need to mention refractive index of glass with respect to water or this is actually refractive index of medium 2 always with respect to medium 1. That is equal to ratio of speed of light. So this turns out to be Vw, first medium speed upon Vg. Now what am I going to do is I am going to up multiply both sides by C and C up and down in order to derive a particular expression. So mu GW refractive index of second with respect to first that is equal to now what is this guys C upon VG, C upon VG is mu G upon C upon VW is mu W but VW by C this would be equal to 1 upon mu w. So this is equal to mu g upon mu w. So mu g w that is equal to mu g upon mu w. Very important relationship refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 that is equal to absolute refractive index of 2 upon absolute refractive index of 1 that can be written as ratio of speeds but speed would be 1 divided by speed upon 2. This can be also written as speed in water upon speed on glass, right? Okay. Now there are actually uh, many refractive indexes of a particular medium. You may want to note what I am actually speaking now. So let us continue now. Suppose this is the surface and the upper medium is air. The lower medium is say glass and the speed of light in air we know that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and the speed of light experimentally found over here is 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. So that means we can notice that the speed of light decreases when it enters into glass because glass is denser medium compared to the air, right? Okay. And, uh, let us calculate the refractive index of glass with respect to air, not necessarily uh, we write it down because this is anyhow an absolute refractive index. So we need not to write down air over here that is equal to the ratio of speed in medium 1 where there is an incident ray. So 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second upon 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. So we can see that the things are getting striked out over here. So meter per second, meter per second gone, then 10 raised to 8, 10 raised to 8 gone. So final answer is 1.5. What do you mean by this number? This means 
the refractive index of the glass with respect to air is uh, 1.5 or the speed of light got reduced by 1.5 times when it entered from air to when it entered into glass from air. So this actually shows by how many times the speed of light decreases or by how, how much factor by how many times or by how, how much factor the speed of light decreases when it enters into a new medium from the older medium. Suppose if refractive index is 3 then the optical density of that medium is still more bigger than the glass and that medium would be more denser than the glass or when the light enters into that particular medium the speed of light will, will be even smaller that than 2 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second in that particular medium. So more the refractive index more is the optical density more is the holding capacity of the light inside more slower the light is. Hopefully you understood by this uh, thing but guys there is a problem because when we talk about suppose a glass suppose this is a piece of glass and we have seven different colors in white light we know it is V I B G Y O R Vibgyor we know that and all these lights they have different different speed in glass but they all have same speed in the air 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second but all of them they have different speed in the glass. Highest speed in the glass is of red and the lowest speed is of the violet. So if we try to find out the refractive index, we know that refractive index is the ratio of speed of light. In fast medium, fast medium means where there is an incident ray, so that is air. Suppose here we have a source of light which is emitting all these colors. So here it would be V is equal to C by V, but V is different for all seven lights. So what is going to happen is when you try to find out the refractive index, index of glass you will have seven different refractive indexes because these all colors they have different speed in glass. So if you, if you are using violet then it will have different speed like mu of violet would be equal to mu of then the speed of violet in the glass. If you find out the mu refractive index of glass by using red light by using red light then it would be C because all of them they have same speed in the air but it would be V of red and V of red that means speed of light in uh, glass by red color is more than the violet color experimentally observed so VR is more than VV that means we can say that mu V would be larger than mu R like this. So we have actually seven different refractive index of the glass but we say that the refractive index of glass is 1.5 by considering almost the middle light color over here. So we may use green or yellow color and give a standard refractive index for a particular medium otherwise there would be a lot of confusion. So remember this thing that refractive index of, a, uh, of any medium is not constant it actually depends upon which light you are using. Right. Hopefully guys you like my explanation and if you have any doubts please do comment and subscribe my channel too. Thank you for watching the video.